Welcome back to the Trade Become Human. This is episode two. Let's get into it. So, if you remember in the last episode, we met Marcus, Kara, and Connor. They're all androids. Uh, Marcus had to go get some paint from the paint shop. Kara had to take care of Alice and the dad. I think his name's Todd. And then Connor was trying to stop a robot from killing a little girl. All right, deposit package. Okay, so if you go, okay. Put this up, I guess. This is, this is what I look like, I guess. Oh, he has a bird. That bird is dead. It's an electric, I mean, robot bird. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I can go exploring this stuff. This is like a kitchen. Oh, I didn't know. Let's take his food. Someone like got butler. Well, Marcus is a butler at least. This is a real nice house. That's a cool TV. Chess. Check me in three moves for silver. What does that mean? Can I play it? Nice classical music. Okay, nothing special over there. I can play this. If that was a try, he sounded like he knew what he was doing. How was anyone even able to get to those stairs? Wait, Carl upstairs, okay. a lot of paint stuff this call guy is an artist well, that's a pretty painting is there anything else in here this is a nice, this is a nice art studio. You've got a nice view of outside. Lots of natural light. Just shining and stuff. What's behind there? That look fire, whatever it is. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to just gonna go upstairs now. How many buttons, like... Alright. What is this? Is like a stair assist or something? What? 
Interesting. We got a dinosaur. Where is Carl? Do has this gigantic house with a gigantic courtyard and one upstairs bedroom. That makes absolutely zero sense. Oh. He taddy. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees. 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Hmm, well, he got dementia. Or Alzheimer's. This looks like an inhaler. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Yeah, Carl, don't be... I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. And you didn't brush them either, so... Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. I'm like an in-home elderly care person. If I let go, he fall to the floor. It's kind of crazy. He makes really nice art. Why are you looking at me like that? Anything? Just want to check where you click. Special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Fan mail? Hmm. How rich is he? Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. to the kitchen instead. I'll just take him in here. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. When did I have time to make bacon and eggs? Why does it look disgusting? Nah, it's ridiculous. It's sizzling. That's been Television. sitting there the whole time I went to get paint. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Okay. Fine. 
find something to do. I guess I'm gonna walk in front of the TV. Call seems nice. Read. Yuck. Can I do this? I'm gonna do this. Can I play chess? I can play. Uh, wait, can I paint? Actually. Television off. He's Man done. Found so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. Spin the globe. I could care less. What's in here? Can I play in here? Well, I can't go in there when he's here. Well, that's crazy. Anyone let me play that? I'll play that. Let's play the piano. Uh, I don't know what that means, so we're gonna do that. Oh, I didn't realize I was playing. That's pretty mid. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Take care of You'll me? You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, let's. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Okay. How do I do that? Oh. What? Wait a minute, what is this? I already cleaned the studio. Is there more to clean? Those are nice. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool.
So I'm literally just supposed to wait here for him to talk. Oh, that over there? No, I already looked for that stuff. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Um, it's all right, I guess. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> I get to paint. W. Find a subject of paint. Is there anything else I can look at? Why would I paint his painting? That's stupid. Let's paint the desk. Three swipes. That is a perfect copy. And I painted the desk. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. I'm gonna paint on top of it. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. But you don't gotta paint with your eyes closed. Identity. Despair. Is this drug addict? Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? No, he's not. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Of course. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. I'm sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? 
You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Bro, it's because you're doing crack. What are you talking about? What's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Because he won't give you drug money? You're ridiculous. I don't pay attention to the dates at all. Well, I think this is the same day. How are you gonna enter so no androids allowed? Are you stupid? I'm Lieutenant Anderson, scan faces. Is it you? It's definitely not you. But you can tell who is who. Okay, what about this dude? Dempsey Edward. Guess I have to keep. Must be you. It's your problem. This dude, he looks bad. Buy me a drink. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just oh. be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Are you stupid? <laughs> Never mind. You were dumb, bro. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. That's Maybe I should buy him another You know drink. what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Yeah. 
You wait here. I won't be wrong. Um. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. Okay. Fine. Follow Tina Anderson. I'm supposed to be staying in the car. Connor, you don't listen. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. I'm gonna just follow him from a distance. You know, they don't know. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. Oh, we got we Tesla in the bag. Months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. How you know it wasn't just a drug overdose? Jesus, that smell it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They but hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed easy. In. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. Told you it's a drug overdose. That same red eyes. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All Todd the windows were boarded did. up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I the way he licks stuff is disgusting. He just licks blood over outside, 19 days. No fingerprints. Okay. Dry blood. Busted crack house. This letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Hey, yo. Oh, no, wait. Okay. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I, I would say so. Stop. We're taking samples for analysis. Story. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. A bat? He had a bat. This guy's trying to fight back. with the bat and then he took a knife okay I see it was the drug 
Okay, so the drug makes people go crazy because I was dad, he took the drug and then he started yelling at her. So the drug makes them act different. You finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Is that okay? I saw some more evidence, probably stuff. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. some stuff over here. Fa what does that say? Something club. Well, he had a hamburger in his closet. Victim, victim fell here, I don't understand.
Okay, he was stabbed. They came from the kitchen. Okay, they came from the kitchen. And then he was following him. He stabbed him. He was crawling. Then he fell over some bottles. And he got stabbed against the wall and died. Oh, he got lots of stabs. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. signs of a struggle question is what exactly happened here he took the drugs i think the victim attacked the android because he was on drugs or with the bat with the bat that lines up with the evidence go on and then the android got his get back and got the knife um the victim stabbed the android the victim the android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Are there right answers to this? to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife, duh. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Search for blue blood. Y'all think the deviant is in the house? Okay, nothing. Okay, wait. Here's the traces. Okay. So it went over here. is an op. He literally just tracks down because he was in here. He was in here. And then I'm assuming he's probably not in there anymore, so he must be up top. Whatever this is. something to climb. See my house. I'm looking for something to climb for. I can use this over here, right? I can't climb that. The chair, right? I can climb a chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I didn't even notice 
painted them on the wall. I'm gonna check something. You're not that tall. No way. I don't want to go up there. He's going to shoot me or something. That's fake. Gotta be fake, right? No, but that's real. leaking in here. Oh shoot, there he is. Go get him. This game is not supposed to have fear. Okay? Supposed to be scary. You're walking a little too close. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I believe it. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. What the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Yo! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Connor is such a snitch! Come on! Nah, if that was me, I'm beating Connor. Connor gonna catch these hands. Forget that. Forget that. Let dude get away, like what? That's rude. This crackhead. Todd. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. What is crack pipe? Dinner is ready. Alright, I'm gonna end this right here. If you enjoy it, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And turn on notifications if you want to know when I upload my next video. Bye! Hey, I'm out of the gone.